Hey guys, so my name is Wells Jerome. For those who do not know me, I'm an athlete but also a trader. And on this video, I'd like to talk about the pair that I shared signals with you the previous week on AU, that is. And I'd like to help you guys and show you guys how I broke down the structure of AU and decided to get into the trade. For those who took the trade, congratulations. For those who didn't, I hope you'll catch me on the next trade. So let's get straight to it. Hope you can hear me well. So we are now looking at the charts. As uh, I had promised you guys, I'm going to take you through the movement and uh, the prediction that got me into taking that trade that I did. So basically, this is the we're using trading view for all traders. You know that this is the best app and uh, like the most simple yet complex app for using, but the best one when it comes to trading because you can actually connect your broker in trading view. So right now we we're looking at the the AU chart and um AU has been constantly falling since I think 2021. Let, let us check. This is just yeah this is just 2023 because I'm on the daily time frame. But like uh yeah it's been consolidating, falling, consolidating, falling since the beginning of the year. So for example, I'm a I'm a long term trader and um I think one of the most basic aspects that traders overlook is the fact that the market actually does what it did before the market never does anything new because since the beginning of the year we've had um, AU constantly dropping consolidating dropping consolidating for example let us take a look we had um let us take this I think this is the highest point that we got to in 2023 this was in February yeah we had this drop consolidation it shows a bit because the market rises to fix itself, we had the drop. We had a similar. Um, actually, I should have marked this area. I don't even know why I forgot. We had this ceiling right here, or like um, yeah, we had that ceiling right there, or like the resistance level that the market the, the market never dropped, uh, the market never broke. So we had this resistance level right here. The market dropped shows again retested around that resistance level remember the market does what it did before so those the retest then we had this big drop this is uh since july we had this big drop we had this consolidation and right now i think um i'm actually expecting like a like a bigger drop for the the remaining period the remaining period of the year that is if um the Australian dollar doesn't fix itself, but if the USD continues gaining strength as it has been recently, I'm expecting like a bigger drop because already we have this consolidation area. So I'm expecting like a a little drop, consolidation, then a big drop to end the year. So aside from that, uh, I wanted to take you guys through like um the three major things that I use when trading, and also that is a side now for me talking about that trade that I'm going to talk about like this is the things that are leading me to talk about it so the first thing is trend lines trend, trend lines are like the biggest part of my trading then um the second one we have the support and the resistance and um yeah then we have the candlesticks so the trend line I've told you guys that um AU has been dropping for the biggest period ever so almost almost all not all but almost all of the trades that I've taken during the whole year for AU have just been sales. So in accordance to our trend line, we have this big drop right here. It tells us that the market is going down. Then um, one thing that uh, most traders never saw, we have this consolidation right here. Consolidation basically means that um, the market, the market doesn't have an actual structure that it's following. It just keeps on dropping, rising, dropping, rising, dropping, rising, dropping, rising. And um, one of the other things that I usually observe when trading is uh, the higher highs, the higher lows, the lower highs and the lower lows. So when it comes to cons consolidation, we don't have that structure. We just have highs, lows, highs, lows, highs, lows. So it's not safe to get into a trade when it's consolidating. But that doesn't mean that um, you don't get into a trade at all. You can just follow the consolidation pattern but it's much more riskier that way so for the better part of the the year okay not the better part but like a, the better part of the second half of the year like for the past three two months i haven't been trading eu because um it's been in consolidation since late august 
yeah since like mid august not like not late august so it's just been on consolidation so you can't really get any good looks when the market is consolidating because it doesn't even move it's just hectic so let me remove that consolidation box first so we have this trend line okay so the trade that i'm supposed to be talking about i'm actually talking about so many things giving you guys extra tips for nothing <laughs> but um the trade that i'm talking about uh i i started um observing it right here the moment we had this uh this um the shooting star candlestick top touching the trend line then it dropped all the way and the moment i, I, I saw this shooting star i actually knew that the market was going to drop because remember guys as i told you the candlestick patterns are one of the major things when it comes to trading so the shooting star definitely tells us that the market is going to drop so we had this drop when the market got to this point this was last week or like a, i think it was last week so I, I got into another trade right here the market got to this point then i automatically knew that um first of all because we're following a trend line and because we had that consolidation which i've just removed we had that consolidation and the market actually broke the resistance level the floor for those who like to call it that way it broke it came down then gave me that low i was so sure that we're going to have like a lower a lower high so i used the fibonacci tool i took my fibonacci tool from that top of that shooting star to the bottom of that last touch yeah the last touch of the, the the low so i have settings on my fibonacci that like allow me to make more accurate predictions as you can see like probably the, the markings on my fibonacci and your fibonacci, the, your fibonacci might be different for those who trade for those who do not trade fibonacci is one of the important aspects too when it comes to trade to trading like um okay this is just a by the way but there are there's so many traders out there who have clogged their minds with so many things they have read so many things they've been exposed to so many things such that they cannot easily they cannot even easily understand how to predict the market they find it a bit hard but um i'm a simple trader and i prefer the simple lose because the simple lose have actually be giving me more wins than losses than the complex ways so i've studied like uh so many aspects but the aspects that i majored on are the aspect that worked best for me so like if you find uh even like this review is not a review that um you would have expected or one that you can understand you can actually keep on using your method so this is just uh i'm just trying to show you how i took that trade so we had that low so i was expecting a lower high right here so i knew that the market was going to retest around the 61 area or the 78 area or like no the 50 or the 61 because au is usually not that volatile but when you come to when it comes to like um other trades like for, for example when i'm trading gu g is really volatile so i usually take um the the resistances around the 78.6 area for example in okay not even actually gg does it around the 61.8 mostly but eu is so volatile it is mostly retests around the 78.6 area so um this trade it was a uh, an anticipation trade this is a trade whereby um i, I usually take it on, on on pending orders so i took my short position right here okay i took my short position right here on a pending order of course i had um, my stop loss right above that high giving it a little bit of breathing room then we had my this was my target this was my first target but then um i didn't i didn't wait for the market to reach this target because when i when i when i took a look at um the news that we're expecting this coming week or um even the news that we had on friday i knew that um the the you the, the the australian dollar was going to gain a bit more power because the us was going to lose um, its power when it comes to like um the the economic aspects i'm going to explain that in a few so i entered this trade right here let, 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 let me let me let me switch to a lower time frame so that you guys can get a bit of view okay so this is the, this is in the four hour time frame we had this low we had the higher higher lows higher highs so we got when we go to this point i was actually expecting to like 
break the trend line just a little bit because they also had another entry right here but i, uh, I didn't get that entry actually the market the market the market actually just it 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 changed it changed direction right where i wanted to to get like uh, the other entry so my entry was like i guess like two pips above it or like a people too so i missed that entry it would, have, it would have been a really good one by the way so those are the entry that i had i had two entries on this one so i got into the market i had a little bit of drawdown the first day went into profit the second day a little bit of drawdown the market wanted to get into consolidation around this area but then we had some news release which actually pushed the market down because um us yeah, us gained it really did gain i think i think on thursday yeah, on thursday it really did gain so and um also for those who use the moving averages and the exponential moving averages we had this moving average crossover right here which was also another sign that i should get into the trade and like sell the currency but i already did that so here yeah. So I, I just sold on profits all the way down. I actually I, I left the trade around this area because when I go to this consolidation, I actually thought that the market might decide to like switch directions a bit and come and retest around this area, but it retested around this area. So let's go back to the higher time frame. So I can talk about like uh, the resistance level. Okay, I don't I don't know why my chart is lagging. I guess the network is a bit slow. Okay, I think we're good. So initially I told you guys that the market does what it did before. So on break of this consolidation, we had this retest level right here or the resistance level right here, which it uh, it retested the last time before it went back up. So I was expecting the market to like retest here at the same place for like a, for like a while before going back up then dropping down but i think i think this will be the last retest i think the market might head up a bit probably retest around this area before dropping down again or like even coming to like um just above this area okay yeah so uh i think uh yeah this was not supposed to be a long video because it was just supposed to be like a summary of how i got into that trade but let me give you guys a few tips before I leave so again the market does what it did before this is like a, a tip for those who are already in trading so we had that consolidation area the market broke that consolidation right there I'm expecting the market to let me, let me give you guys another pattern okay what is it Okay, I don't even know where that tool is. Yeah, the path. Got it. So I'm expecting the market to like um rise up a bit up to around this area. If it won't beat the initial high, but I'm expecting to rise a bit up to this area. That is the trend line that I have. I'm expecting the market to then drop, break that resistance level probably retest around this area then raise again to that resistance level drop break it break that support now it's not the resistance come back down again break that support so basically what i'm trying to say i'm expecting the market to give us another consolidation similar to the consolidation that we had before so but that is like a, a long term trade an oncoming one but we'll watch out in case in case it's right we, we're going to revisit it and like um get better tips so right now i'm just going to extend this trend line that i have uh i don't know if i should if i should give you guys like a, a like a like a like a tip of what i'm i, I might trade next week this coming week actually not next week but uh okay let me take you guys through the news first before i do that so this past week we had uh, a lot of news but let, let 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 me not look at the entire the entire calendar trading calendar for the whole week let me just look at uh, from thursday where we had the, the biggest movement so 
GU and AU, according to me, they, they, they move in almost a similar form. For example, when GU drops, AU drops. When AU drops, GU drops. When GU drops, AU also drops. So these three pairs, they are kind of related in some way. The charts may not be the same, but the market movements are the same. So we had GU, the, the trade balance of GU got fucked up a bit. That meant that US gained, GU lost, so GU was going to drop, meaning AU will also drop. We had the, the GDP MOM. It, yeah, it increased, by the way. That gave it a little bit of support. Then we had their trade balance. It became worse. Yeah, it even says here, actually worse than the expected result. Okay, the most important news now, we have the US news. The jobless claims for US, the jobless claims reduced. So, we were expecting the jobless claims to reduce from 209 to 205.5 thousand, but it reduced from 209 to 206 thousand. This is actually good news on US because it means more people are getting jobs. Then continuous jobless claims for September, the past month, it increased, but this one didn't have such a major impact because they think the results were just released a little bit late. Then we had the initial jobless claims for US remain the same. We're expecting it to retain to like increase a bit, which would have been a bad news for the US side, but uh, it retained. Then um, we have the okay for traders for those who are planning to get into trading too. When you come when it comes to reading news, I want you to know that inflation and CPI are one of the most important aspects when reading news in trading. So we had the co-inflation rate for US, it sustained. Uh, the inflation rate MOM, it reduced. So when inflation reduces, this means that the economy becomes better. Now we're dealing with US. Inflation for US reduces. This means that their currency gains power, the economy becomes better. When US gets better, AU drops because right now we're dealing with Australian dollar against US dollar. So it's like a big balance. When one is bad, the other one is good. Yeah, like that. The inflation rate sustained. CPI for US increased. CPI for September still increased. So basically, everything was telling us that any currency dealing, uh, any currency that is dealing with any movement against the US dollar was going to drop because the US dollar gained power. Yeah, that's it when it comes to the news. So, okay, let me just give you guys like a, like a, like a, like a tip for the incoming week. So for this incoming week, if you go through the FX news, I'm not going to go through all of it because I didn't want to make this video so long. But when you look at the news, uh, US, US is, yeah, the, the US economy uh, will really drop. Sorry about that. The, the US economy is going to like really drop for this coming week. This means that any currency that is being traded against the US dollar is going to rise. I think um, trading is actually easy <laughs> when you consider these aspects because when we come back to the chat, we talked about this resistance level. I told you guys earlier that I'm expecting a U to rise for this coming week because of this resistance level. It's going to retest. This is the floor and it's going to rise again probably beat, beat this resistance level probably by a few pips or even get before dropping again but for this coming week that is as as from tuesday don't i don't normally trade on mondays because the market isn't that stable on mondays but as from tuesday the market is going to like increase the the the, the chart for the AU is going to increase this means that um the 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 economic world for the for the US is going to degrade. When one falls, as I told you guys, like a beam balance, when one falls, one gains. So for the Australian dollar, it's going to gain probably to this area, retest this area, or even break through it, come to the, the trend line, then drop. But that drop, I'm expecting it on, on Thursday, Friday, extending up to the, 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 the coming week. But for the first three, two, three days, for this week, for those who are planning to get into the trades, take the buys, don't take the sales. But um, again, 
this is my prediction this is what i might trade so if you feel like the market might move otherwise do what you believe is best yeah so let us just look at the lower time frame before we finish up yeah so we have this resistance level on monday it might consolidate for a few then rise again but um yeah in case it consolidates on monday uh okay my prediction for monday for like the uh, the daily time frame it might probably give us like a hammer or like a doji indicating that the market wants to change direction from dropping to now rising so in case it changes direction we're going to like um to like use this point as a as our stop loss then take the trade but now it's going to be a buy hopefully if the if the trade goes the way we predicted it goes so yeah the major levels right here we have the 0 0.63 we're supposed to have the 0 0.6350 around here i guess that's why i drew this one then you have the 0 0.64 yeah i'm expecting the market to like get to like 0.64 or around 0.63750 before dropping so let me take a look at the daily time frame one more time okay so it might get to like um the 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 63500 give us a doji or like consolidate around that area before dropping again but for like tuesdays the market may rise so yeah that's it with the charts yeah in case of any trades or like um in case you feel like giving you guys like other 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 take profits stop losses and um figures on trades that you may take for this coming week not only on the the eu but probably gu or us 30 the wall street currencies uh i'm going to let you guys know on instagram and um this is just like a, a walkthrough on how i trade if you want to learn how i actually trade i'm going to leave my number right after the video you can hit me up talk about the the, the teaching lessons the course and um for those who want signals just signals yeah you can also reach out to me and um we'll talk about that so we've come to the end of the video for those who already trade, I hope it added something to your bug. I hope it was productive. For those who would like to learn Forex, kindly reach out. For those who would like to get signals, also reach out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.